Okay, now we're going to show a very complicated example of balancing equation. And here you see it on the screen. And what we first do is compare and see about uh, making sure that uh, we have the same number of magnesiums. Now I've placed these arrows across the entire page to separate the two sides of the equation. First we take a look at magnesium. It has one on the left side of the equation. And then because of the subscript, there are three on the right side. And we balance that by bringing in a coefficient of three in front of the magnesium on the left side, which triples that molecule. Now we see that we have to compare the nitrogen. We have six on this side due to these coefficients, or the coefficient of three and the subscript of two. And we count them up and can see that we have six on the left. On the right side, we have one. So the only way that we can balance that out is to bring in a subscript of a 6 to put place in front of the KNO3. And this will give us 6 KNO3s. And we had to make those a little smaller so that they fit. Next, we'll take a look at our magnesium again to make sure it still balances. And we still have three on the left and three on the right. And our nitrogen are now six on the left and six on the right. Next, we move to oxygen, which has uh, two subscripts and a coefficient. And this gives us 18 here, but we can't forget the other four that we have on the same side of the equation, which gives us 22. And when we look on the right side, we find that we have 26. So we need four more on the left. If we increase the magnesium, uh, NO32, it will give us um, too many, give us six more. But if we increase the K3PO4 by one coefficient, by giving it a two, that will increase it by four and give us the correct number of oxygens on each side. And when we count all the atoms on both sides, we now find that they balance. And then we can remove the molecules on the right side and rearrange the molecules from the left into the molecules on the right. And I'm going to speed that up. And there are our six KNO3s. And then our magnesiums. Okay. And as you can see, the equation now balances by rearrangement. Or you can stack them. Make a pretty little background. And as you can see, and we'll do this quickly, you can stack them in such a way that you can see that they do, in fact, balance.